Oh, right, what time is it? It is 15.10 on Wednesday. What day is it? Wednesday, the 21st of the 3rd, 2018. Someone's phoning me. One moment. It's not important. Uh, right, uh, Cheddar882. Uh, I want to answer your question. Um, so your question says, when is your surgery? What gives you joy? My surgery is the 28th of this month. And things that bring me joy are kind of making people happy, trying to sort problems for people at the moment. Uh, and what's making me happier than anything is the, um, the amount of support that people are giving me as well. It's made me in one of the worst situations that anyone could ever go through in life, uh, appreciate life a little bit more. So that's that, yeah. Um, <clears throat> This one comes from Tara Cole. I was just wondering what would you want all of us and your family and friends to remember you most if you were to die in 20 years from now or just tomorrow? Um, yeah, okay, that's good. What would I like them to remember? I'd like them to remember me for the funny good me, the, the inspired me, the nice me, not the horrible me that I can be. Um, it's like everyone sees this YouTube thing who knows me as like a completely different side of me. Um, but the, the problem is they all kind of perplex me and drive me mad. Uh, sometimes you can have too many questions and people do tend to do too many questions uh, from family and friends and it, it's kind of overbearing sometimes. Uh, they don't mean it but it becomes overbearing. But yeah, I want them to remember me for the good old me. And hopefully they won't uh, use this YouTube as a, as a way to remember me by. Uh, I suppose it's a good way though. Right, Hammy Mac, I have two questions. What is your best childhood memory? And what are your top three favorite books and why? Well, my top author is Dr. Seuss. Um, my top three favourite books, I couldn't give you an answer because I don't really read books. Um, I read a lot of literature that's like kind of research uh, based. I spend a lot of time in the library as well, researching things and learning. Um, I'm an old school guy really. Um, but no, I don't really have three top favourite books. I do love National Geographic though. So that's good. My best childhood memory, I used to sit at the top of the stairs and build a farm every other day, to much to my parents' annoyance, I'm sure. Uh, and they probably fell over it and hurt themselves quite a few times. I, I kept doing that. Uh, that was quite a fun memory. Um, Kashinoki, uh, have I made any preparations to freeze my seeds? No, straight away, no. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Naratara, uh, do you make your videos on your own or do I have a crew or someone else to help? Everything is done on my own. Let's be straight up clear on this. Uh, I make everything on my own. The only time someone has ever held a camera is when I handed it to Claire uh, in the car the once. Um, everything is done myself. Um, the websites are done myself, everything that's posted on the website, all social media, everything that is done is done by me uh, completely, 150% by me. Um, the building of the community has been started by me, it's being finished by a great team of developers who are going to finish this off properly. Uh, the idea is all mine, it's all going to be put together and finished uh, hopefully within the next month. And then we can launch that whole community thing as well. The whole social media side, I try and interact with people, respond to people as much as possible. I try and respond to the comments. I make sure I read them and when I read them, I mark that I've read them by giving them a heart if I've read them. Uh, if I don't give it a heart, it's because it's either offensive uh, or I've not seen it. So it, it's, it's that way. Um, but yeah, I, I do everything myself. I, I actually literally do every single part myself. Uh, no one has helped me with this at all. So yeah, yeah, it's hard work, but it's fun. Um, Lila Survivor, tell us the story of your tattoos. Uh, what do they mean? I'll do that in a separate video. I did say that in the other one. Um, so I will do that. Uh, 
I just answered this one more. Uh, Mariana, I have answered what is your fondest childhood memory? I can't really give you a good answer on that, but I did some cool stuff when I was a kid. Um, Darwin, uh, have I thought of cryonics? Uh, it's expensive in a long shot. It's very expensive for cryonics. Also, the likelihood of it actually being worth it and working is pretty slim. Also, if I'm gonna die, I'm, I'm just gonna be like a normal human being and just die, I think. Uh, I love science and stuff like that, but if, I, if it's gonna come to that point, I want to be dignified and I want to choose certain things that go on. Uh, Jani Laj, uh, what kind of work did you do before I got cancer? I started off life as a chef, believe it or not. Uh, weirdly, started as a chef. Then I grew into this like manager. Uh, I managed pubs. Uh, then I managed um, rebranding and building up businesses uh, for companies. Uh, going from there to being like um, a high up manager within some quite big companies. Uh, and then I decided to um, go into software development and uh, basically programming um, because it was something that I loved. Uh, artwork and things is something that I love. So that's basically what I did there. Uh, this one's from Chuckles. Uh, do you guys know why you got such a freak tumor in the first place? Uh, was I exposed to something or does cancer run in my family? My, ca my family doesn't have cancer in the family. Uh, the tumour just grew out of nowhere. It was just a freak accident, unfortunately. Um, I can't really understand it fully, but people have tried to work it out. And the, we, the best guess is that I got kicked really hard uh, and stamped on in a fight. And that's how it started. Um, Ella Chick. Um, what did I do before uh, cancer and stuff? Uh, I've just answered that, so hopefully that answers that for you. Uh, this one's from Suzanne. Uh, let me just read this. Um, right, where do me and my mum find the strength to move past the unknown of what tomorrow will bring. I don't know what tomorrow will bring, so I've got to live life for this kind of moment. Um, I'm highly medicated, so the, the person that you see on these camera, like bits of footage, uh, I've got a twitch in my eye again, one sec. Uh, the person you see, no, still doing it. The person you see in this video footage is someone who is very sick. Uh, I've spent from nine o'clock this morning when I got up till nearly three o'clock in the afternoon in bed, um, just sleeping because the fatigue is so, just so immense. Uh, the pain is so immense and it's just the threshold and kind of evil kind of way that this feels is just, uncomprehendable sometimes but my family take it well and deal with it well my mum doesn't really brush past it she kind of thinks about it but not while she's around me um, so yeah it's kind of like take each day as it comes and try and make the best of everything I think uh, who is Claire is she camera shy no she's not we answered that in the previous one check out Instagram you'll be able to see her uh, that was from Coco and then Laura the ghostly um, Laura the ghostly uh, have you been to the US uh, if you were to would you like to go what would you like to do been to the US loads of times love New York one of my favorite places in the world love getting dinner there love catching a show love doing all these things so yeah I've been to the US loads of times uh, I love it and I will be going again as soon as I'm better <clears throat> uh, Okay, I've got a joke here. Guess who is still together after all the shit they've been through? Oh, guess who is all together after all the shit they've been through? Any guesses? Your butt cheeks. Oh yeah, like that one. I like that one. I like that one. 
Um, Serena T in his A. Uh, how am I at the moment? I am very down, very miserable, very upset, uh, very low, very worried, very concerned. I'm never gonna show anyone that side of me properly because it's for me to feel. And at the end of the day, can't do anything about it. I have to trust other people and I have to just try and move past it. So let's get better, let's get awesome. And then let's just have a good day with everything that's going on. So that's basically that. Uh, but yeah. That's that. Lucy Young says, do I have a bucket list? If so, what are the three things that I want to do? I don't have a bucket list at the moment, but I am exploring uh, writing a piece for a newspaper, which is about my kind of bucket list and what I'd like to do. So hopefully we'll have some ideas on that soon uh, because I said I wouldn't do a bucket list, but I kind of have things I want to do and people are offering to do stuff for me. Um, so why not? You know, why not go and have some fun whilst I can? Uh, Serena T sent it again. Uh, um, actually, let's check. This is. What's my message to. This is from Serena T. Uh, what is my message to my family and all my viewers? Um, don't be pushed into a dark place for no reason. Now you're thinking, what does that mean, Daniel? I mean that don't let some situation that you're going through or possibly the worst situation of your life control what you do. So <clears throat> like I keep saying, the person's cancer is someone who's holding a noose around my neck and they've, they've got their foot on my, at the moment they've got their foot on my back and they're just yanking it backwards and they're just suffocating me. Um, trying to take my life and stop it but I've got my hands there and I'm like you will not do this uh, and I'm fighting back don't let any situation you're going through um, control your life don't let it control everything that you do if you are sick and there's something you want to do just try and do it find a way to try and do stuff and if you're in say, <clears throat> I've been in very abusive situations and if you're in those or um, can't see sight of something better, just try and find a way. And sometimes it's just sparking up that conversation with someone and that person can just pull you out of it. But don't be manipulated by other people, don't be manipulated by the situation because sometimes when you're low, you're easy to manipulate and for people to take advantage of. Don't ever be taken advantage of by people and don't ever be taken advantage of full stop. No need for it. And always fight back. If you think you're right or you've got a reason with an educated reason to fight back over something, I don't mean like fist fight, I mean like talking or arguing something to your, your side, always try and argue it. Don't be an idiot or a dick about it, but if you know you're right and there is no way that you're wrong, then definitely fight for what you think and fight for your right. Not to party, but fight for your right uh, to be yourself. That's what the world's all about. Um, and on to the last one. I think this is the last one. Jesse Reed has said, why did you start vlogging? And obviously, I need to know now, spider legs or tentacles? <clears throat> Honestly, I started vlogging because I wanted to just portray two people who had kind of like messed me around uh, what life was like. And that's what I think I've done. I've, I've shown them and shown people how hard it is to go through this. Um, and people understand it a bit more. So hopefully they understand this properly now and everything that's going on. Uh, and you want to know spider legs or tentacles? Uh, basically, I'd go for tentacles because tentacles have those little suckers, don't they? And I know spiders can climb up walls and stuff, but just imagine if you went, wanted a glass, you'd just go 
done. Job done. Job done. Job done. You know? So yeah, and, and back to the vlogging one, right? A lot of it now, me vlogging every day and also answering questions for people and trying to be informative and educate um, is all down to the fact that a lot of people are naive and don't really understand cancer. Um, they don't understand the situation that it is, they don't understand how draining it is, how hard it is, and to have something that's classed as terminal is very, 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 very hard to deal with indeed. Um, most people hide in a hole. Um, I'm not that kind of person, and I won't hide in a hole. Um, oh, there's another, there's another one comes through as well. Uh, so, oh, this one goes back to me vlogging as well. Why do I vlog every day? The reason I vlog every day um, is actually because I think it's better to inform people of the situation and the vlogs that I put out are the same day. So I will vlog, I'm recording this now, I'll put it on the internet straight away afterwards. So that is how I work with my vlog and that is what I want to do with my vlog. Um, if there is a point in time where I can't do that, I'll always put it on Instagram uh, that I can't do it or Facebook or Twitter. Um, so hit me up on Instagram, it's at Toms. Uh, and hit me up on Twitter, it's Pee Wee Toms again, and on Facebook it's official Pee Wee Toms. Uh, and in answer to some of the questions that I've had on, um, let's just go to the YouTube channel one sec. So in answer to the questions that I've had on here uh, since I put the video up, um, there's been a few things asked. So one, where can you get a hoodie or a t-shirt? You can go to the shop thing. I think it's peewee.toms.com forward slash shop. So they they are in there now. Uh, the guy who made it for me has decided to sort it out for me. So that's cool. Uh, the GoFundMe uh, stuff is done for research purposes uh, and to try and find treatment. I don't think people understood that properly originally. Um, so that's answers that the, the GoFundMe is to try and save lives. It's not just about saving my life, it's about saving others and we're researching and we've made so much progress with this research and I can't wait to be able to properly release what's happened. Um, let's just check, there was another question as well. Uh, do, 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 do. I can't find it. No, I can't find it. There were some really good ones, but I'm gonna to have to do another Q&A at some point. So if you've got any questions for me, just fire them over. Go to uh, peewetoms.com forward slash ask me a question and just fill out the form and then I'll get them. And then next time I do a Q&A, I will, I will physically go through them all again. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Thank you so much for being so supportive and speak to you soon, speak to you tomorrow, whatever's, and love you lots. Thanks, bye.